Wells Fargo is a proud partner of Valley Works, working together to achieve great things for our community. During the week when Fresno's Playland Storyland is closed to visitors, the amusement park can have the appearance of a ghost town. The rides, seemingly from another era, stand still. The only activity coming from those who work here. It is quiet until they get this call. We get the call from any of the pediatrics hospice agencies throughout the Central Valley from Bakersfield to Modesto. A family with a terminally ill child is requesting a day in the park, a day just for them, their family, and close friends. The staff accommodates. All aboard! And this normally quiet amusement park (laughs) comes alive. It was during the holiday season that the Keller family brought their eight-year-old son, Elijah. Elijah has a genetic disorder of the brain. He cannot walk, talk, eat, chew, or swallow. So it's pretty much slowly just taking his life, um, but uh, not taking his joy and not taking our joy. Um, Still just being blessed from God to have him in our lives and to take care of him every day. Knowing that Elijah's illness may someday take his life, the Kellers say they want to create as many memories as they can. Coming to this park is is adding to what we've been trying to do with him, is just create some normalcy and and just create these memories that when the time comes where he does pass on, that we would have all these memories and these photos to look back upon and that would bring us joy. I don't know, it's definitely a memory maker that it we will, will never forget. No, we won't forget it. Like, remember that time? I, don't, I, know, I know Elizabeth's going to talk about it forever. <laughs> yeah. General Manager Linda Restrovich calls this day in the park, this respite for families with terminally ill children, the helicopter project, named for a little boy named Hendrix. We got a call from um, Hendrix's mom, Rose Will. And she called and said that she wanted, her son wanted to ride the train because he loved trains. But he had a terminal illness. Hendrix, wave to mom! That was last March. Hendrix got his day in the park, and he also got to name one of the horses on this 55-year-old carousel. He chose the name Helicopter. Hendrix passed away three months later, but his horse now carries his name. Knowing that, These horses, when they have a name on them, that means a child has died. It kills me. But knowing that we get to keep, you know, a little piece of them, and we get those smiles and we get those memories through the photographs that we get and through the videos that the parents share with us um, helps a little bit. The helicopter project has become a labor of love for the staff here. It is also a fundraiser. Their goal, to restore this carousel, including each and every one of the horses. For Valley Works, Juanita Stevenson, ABC 30 Action News.